For as long as I have loved to make art, I have loved to move. I've played sports, I've salsa danced, completed triathlons, been a longtime rock climber, practiced yoga, became a personal trainer, and got serious about CrossFit. Then, the same year I decided to launch my art business, I wrecked my back. I slipped a disc and, long story short, two trips to the emergency room, six doctors, two weeks immobile in bed, a steroid shot, mental determination, a genius physical therapist, months of patience, and I'm back on my feet. The injury could have been catastrophic, but it wasn't. Now, in many ways, I'm stronger, not just physically, but mentally. During my recovery, I learned to move well, which nourished my spine and fed my soul, but I may not completely heal and I still need to be careful. In particular, sitting too long in an awkward position prompts the most uh, sciatic discomfort. Watercolor demands sitting because the paper needs to stay flat or risk bleeding into uncontrolled directions. When I'm engrossed and studiously bent over to paint, I unconsciously lock into unergonomic positions, which triggers pain sometimes to the point of regression, which scares me. I had to compromise or risk my recovery. I couldn't finish painting in one sitting. I opted for small painting sessions and disciplined myself to walk away. I trained myself to paint quicker, which turned into a beautiful gift. And more gifts followed. During my time living in Costa Rica, I was introduced to intuitive acrylic painting at Thrive Art Studio in Brasilito, Guanacaste. There, I watched a video by Flora Boli, and a whole new world began for me. Two things I love, art and movement, are connected. I can stretch, move, crouch, stand, even dance and paint as joyfully as ever, free from being fastened into unhealthy positions. I learn more, too. We can get preoccupied by techniques and outcome, and we forget that painting is a soulful, kinesthetic process like dancing or yoga. The connection between the spirit and body and painting is essential. I created Body and Soul Painting to share and explore that connection with you. It's a simple class for beginner painters and beyond. You can paint free from judgment in my supportive and welcoming home and studio. It's for longtime movers or people who just want to move more. Movement will be scaled and gentle or as intense as you want it to be. In the class, we'll explore creative movement and painting. Then we'll meditate for inspiration and to calm our inner critic. Finally, we'll paint and explore for forgiving acrylics within, within a community supporting each other's efforts. At the end of the class, you'll have created a painting that expresses your body and soul and a body and soul that feels great. I would love for you to join me on this new adventure of art and movement. I hope to see you there. <laughs>